Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today's the 4th of July and we have literally nothing to do. We thought we'd vlog a little bit and just show you our little sad quarantine 4th of July extravaganza with just me and Aaron. Um, we have some things uh, cooking right now in the oven, on the, the George Foreman, all that. Um, this year with Rona, as well as the fact that I'm pregnant, we can't do much of anything really. And we live in, in the city of LA, so a lot of things are closed down. There's just nothing to do. We also live in a complex where we have a pool, we have a grill. They usually throw parties, but they're doing none of that. And it's by reservation only. And who thought ahead of time to do any of that? We'll just show you our little sad. <laughs> it's really sad. It's kind of boring. I kind of woke up depressed low key, but damn, fucking mac and cheese is yelling at me. We'll just show you what we're doing today. By the way, I had this shirt before Megan the Stallion made a song about it, FYI. Keep that in mind. All right, let's see what we got cooking up in here. The mac and cheese in here. Oh yeah, that's not done. You know, the mac's not done until uh, it's a little brown on top. However, I will show you. Look at this sketchy mac and cheese. Um, world's best mac and cheese. Where is this even from? This must be from sprouts and i'm sorry but anything that says world's best anything on it i'm automatically skeptical aaron's making some cow ground cow the chicago steak seasoning the best some hamburger buns <laughs> um these are old as shit these are at least a year old but just these, this is nothing but crumbs and he must have washed that off but that's a that's a gummy oh my god it's hilarious so mac and cheese burgers and then i got this from trader joe's and it's actually pretty good if you doctor it up um it is hmm, i was gonna say mac and joe's <laughs> smoke trader joe's Smokehouse, pulled pork, and smoky barbecue sauce. So what I'd like to do is I like to heat this up, but then because the barbecue sauce isn't that uh, flavorful, I'll go ahead and put some of our own, the barbecue sauce we like over top of it, and it actually tastes pretty good. In terms of drinks, we got some Sea Rock ginger candies, and then I'll probably mix this with some juice for the Mr. Mr. or maybe with this that'll be an interesting flavor combination and then I am gonna go crazy on this oh my gosh this is so good Trader Joe's uh, seltzer water with blood orange and orange juice this stuff is so good I love blood orange so much and this is a nice spritzer that has a good amount of flavor so there's only two grams of sugar in this and I'm desperate so whatever and then, when that's all good and gone, I got I got the topo. Topo on deck. I cannot. This is so funny. So, I have a pair of kitchen scissors. Like that's all we use them for is the kitchen and cutting things up because they're really handy. It's really nice to just have some scissors versus having to use some kind of knife. These scissors have been missing for like a month, and I have no clue where they are. And <laughs> so. <laughs> Instead of finding kitchen scissors with, you know, that are of a certain size, I see these. These are definitely hair scissors are just hanging out in the sink. So it's like, these got replaced. I'm like, what the, what am I going to do with these? I mean, I can still cut stuff, but this, these are hair scissors, okay? And I'm, they need to not be used on things in the kitchen. Look who's back. It's Sir Begs-A-Lot. trying to roll in some shit today. Did you try to roll in poopy today? I roll roll. I roll roll. I roll roll. I roll roll. You need a bath, brother. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay, so now that my fake uh, pulled pork is in the oven that I worked so hard on. Pull it apart a little bit. Hubby requested a frozen drink. We're gonna experiment with, we got our Ninja, red berry, and strawberry lemonade. This is like 
It's kind of strange <laughs> combo we ran, ever. We ran out of the show. We ran out of ketchup, so you know we had to. <laughs> yeah, we. He's a you know hoarder. How many can I put in here? One or two shooters? Uh, we talking about the shots. <laughs> Two. It's the fourth, baby. Let's Woo! go. Oh! I'm gonna have a, a a drunk so on my hands later. We got one. This will make more than one drink, of course. Mm -hmm. Pregnant bartending. Mm -hmm. ba, 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 ba. Pepsi Cola. I hope this actually works. Mmm. Smells like diabetes. So we'll. I don't know, just make it look. I think I have enough liquid in here, but we're experimenting. Man, I haven't used this blender since my green smoothie days, where that's all I would eat was <laughs> green smoothies to try to lose weight. That shit was cray. Should make a drink for myself and to do that this is what i've been drinking out of lately um it's a trader joe's dill pickle jar that i have so lazily not pulled the entire label off of that's how we get down you know i've, I've invested over the years okay tons and tons of money in cups and then i end up drinking out of old pickle jars So, uh, <laughs> oh man, I got a little, I like a little burnt, you know, I like a little crust, but <laughs> that might be, little, that might be tasty. I might eat the corner. Remember guys, this was toted as world's best macaroni and cheese. I mean, anything they, they call themselves world best. I think we need to be skeptical of, but this is it. This is all you ever need. Oh yeah, that's that's sober goodness right there. Did you just meow? <laughs> he just told me to get out of the frame. He's like, "Can you? You ready for a taste test?" Yeah, let's do it. All right. Go ahead, give it a try. It's legit as fuck. It's good as hell. You know what? More liquor. I need more liquor though. <laughs> it's like uh, it's a little watery. Yeah. Maybe you could just put the juice and oh, some more liquor in there. Yeah, so like the ice is leaving it a lot. Man, the liquor must have dropped all the way to the bottom. Fucked up at the end. <laughs> oh, you're finishing that whole <laughs> that whole blender full, baby. We don't we don't waste around here. Did you wash that gummy? I did. I picked it up and I was like, why is it wet? If anything, that it should was be. Jesus. If anything, it should be so dry. Like, we got that for my birthday in 2019, so that was like over a year ago. Oh. Damn it! It's like chewing gum. <laughs> Damn it's old. <laughs> All right, so here's the final struggle last, last dinner. Um, I did one hamburger bun, one side with pulled pork, 
and a burger and world's best mac and cheese. And we got the same thing over here. Here's looks more legit though, the top button. Yeah, right? Okay. I'm gonna smash this. This is gonna be delicious. Okay. Oh no, my lettuce flew off of my burger. Look, look, go get it. No, not the, here, look, right here. Yeah, there you go. Organic vacuum cleaner. Purposes. Yeah, it's not terrible. All right, well, cheers. Cheers to happy 4th of July. Not the way I would have hoped, but whatever. Yep. Fucking Rona. We're having a debate ah, about whether or not Julio prefers vegetables or meat. So I say meat, Aaron says vegetables. So we have to drop it on three, ready? Wait. That, oh. oh no. <laughs> he went for the lettuce first. Maybe it was- No, he sniffed the lettuce, but he, he, went, he ate the meat. Oh. Okay, I win. Yeah. Wait. I went for the lettuce first and he smelt it and then he saw the meat and he ate that. Ah. Well, since we're out here, we'll give you a little tour of our patio, which by tour, I mean showing you two plants. This is, what did we name these? Did we name these? No, we didn't name them yet. We should give them names now. Uh, okay, well on the left is a jalapeno plant and then we have like this purple uh, flower and then we have this <laughs> this other plant that looks like it's like kind of reminds me of like a flat cucumber <laughs> it looks like um like uh the fountain in chicago oh it? yeah the one in what married with children or whatever yeah, yeah. and aaron got the planter from ikea yeah um then we have uh don't mind that <laughs> ladder <laughs> and here's you can see what's the name of that get a little bit of visibility back there oh yeah mm -hmm. you can see up in the hills a little bit cool story bro <laughs> <laughs> oh i didn't mean it like that i didn't mean to be a jerk <laughs> we have these cute little uh lights we got from amazon it looks really nice at night and then here's the rest of our view and then we have, is this a Meyer lemon tree? No, uh, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> we'll settle on that. Um, and then we have um, a random assortment of plants uh, over here that he's planted. Tomato. Tomato? Uh-huh, and this is the dead sunflower. You planted the dead sunflower. Because remember, I feel bad about just throwing them in the trash, so I like to take them to a place where they can like die like in a humane way. Oh. Like, Right, did you, <laughs> did you purposely pull all the petals off? <laughs> no, just the wind did that. <laughs> oh no. And, um, that's kale. The little one's the little kale. Um, okay. I don't know what that is. I planted like six different things. I just want to see what was going to grow. So we'll figure <laughs> it out. And then this is another one that, you know, is this is like a, a humane. Yeah. <laughs> humane, you mean hospice? <laughs> This is the plant hospice corner over here, guys. Yeah. No, I'm the tomato plant. It's good. I'm oh. Just, you know. Okay, well. Just the other two. Did you show them the little buds? I got a few lemons starting to grow in there. Cute. Yeah. Here. Oh, yeah. Those are gonna be lemons. So cute. Yay. All right, that's our patio. And we have this table from... Ikea. That's really it. Three big fat ones right there. Oh yeah, look at that fatty. When do you pull it off? I don't know. Hey girl, looking looking spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I picked out this flower. And flat cucumber. So you see, I like the little green white flowers. Oh, I didn't notice that. Cute. Yeah. yeah.
There's fireworks all around us.